To write the formula for lead to phosphate, we look up lead on the periodic table. It has an element symbol of Pb. And phosphate, that's not on the periodic table. That's a polyatomic ion. It ends in ATE. So you either need to have it memorized or look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Either way, phosphate is PO4 3 minus. So lead's a metal, and then the phosphate, that's made up of a group of nonmetals. So a metal and nonmetals, that's ionic, and we need to take the charge on the lead and then the phosphate into account when we write the formula for lead to phosphate. We have a little bit of help here. Lead, it says lead 2. So that Roman numeral 2, that tells us the charge on the lead. That's 2 plus. We know the phosphate is 3 minus. So these should add up to 0, and right now they don't. We can change the subscripts using something called the crisscross method. We can move the 3 over here and the 2 out here. Get rid of these. And then we do need to put parentheses around our polyatomic ion, around the phosphate. We have two of them. So we'll put parentheses around the phosphate. And this is the formula for lead to phosphate. Let's check our work, make sure we got this right. We said lead has a 2 plus ionic charge. Phosphate had a 3 minus. So I have two phosphate ions, 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. Then the 3 of the leads, 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. So 6 plus, 6 minus, they add up to 0. We have a net charge of 0. So we're done. This is the correct formula for lead 2 phosphate. Let's get rid of some of this here. And that's it, lead 2 phosphate, PB3, PO4, 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.